one of the most bizarre and crazy things to stumble across in the middle of nowhere. I kind of put it down to devil worshippers, which I have encountered before, but that's another story. Man, you know what that the humming and chanting kind of reminds me of and the what? drumming? We used to have a co-host on a show called Heather. So she used to live, her old house apparently was where one of the, I forget what the, the, the chief's name was, but where he was buried, like some native chief was buried in the woods behind her house. And she was saying one night she was sitting there either reading a book or something in her living room or watching TV or something. And she heard drumming and chanting coming from the woods behind her house. And that's, I'm sorry, creepy. Yeah, somebody's. It, it, yeah, it doesn't even sound like it's trying to lure you out. It's almost like something. It's just I don't know. A ritual. I don't know. Man, it's creepy. It freaks me out every time. But it, this. But hearing this person talk about humming and chanting and stuff like that coming from the woods after stumbling across a bunch of weird makeshift huts down a well-worn path that is you know lined with human skulls at the entrance, it's a little freaky. It's a little freaky deaky, you could say. To me, it sounds almost like they just stepped into another time, like back in the day. Yeah, where there's pagans that believed in the skulls being around I mean, it and the chanting and all that stuff that doesn't seem like your typical thing for great britain and also who in that country is wearing camo and habits their paint their face painted black that just I, doesn't I didn't say it was a black face man i just they could have just have some camo paint well, on well know? i mean same thing you're it's, out here being racist as hell dude i'm not gonna have it on this podcast right <laughs> I didn't, I, I didn't paint my face. They did, but it, it just seems really weird for the British. Yeah. But they're doing an escape and evade. Oh, okay. That makes more yeah, sense. So it was like a, Oh, so maybe they're military tactical thing. Yeah. Okay. That makes more sense. <clears throat> yeah. Otherwise you're just in camo roaming in the forest at 2 a.m. It's, I mean, I could see that in the U S uh, it happens probably daily in the U S yeah, not, not you, really any other countries. Everybody yeah. else is like, I can see you still. Yeah. You're not tricking me. Right. I see you. You look like a clown. No, it's fine. It is funny how everybody goes to devil worship. Maybe somebody's just collecting skulls. Yeah. I mean, because that's totally rational. I mean, maybe there's a serial killer out there and those are his trophies. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, come on. Does he have to worship the devil? Uh, yeah. Or can like, he just do his bidding? Sometimes I'm like, we're really quick to blame the devil and really slow to blame the humans. Yeah. The devil's like, what the hell, guys? That's yeah. not me. Yeah. Always blaming me. I was over here with Cheeto dust on my fingers watching Game of Thrones. <laughs> Classic. I don't know, man. It's more fun and dark if it's devil <laughs> worship, though. I mean, and that's the thing is it doesn't even have to be devil worship. Like, that's that's a phrase that people use when they mean, like, ritual, like, ritualistic, sacrificial shit. They, they say, oh, it's worshiping the devil. And some people probably are worshiping the devil, whether they're doing it right or not. Who knows? The fact that you come across something like this and you're like, oh, this is in the middle of the woods, in the middle of nowhere, should not be seeing any of this. This shouldn't exist. And yet here we are. You know, something weird is afoot. Could Again, be. Could be. You know damn well it is. I'm not Quit convinced. hiding. Quit I'm... hiding, Christian. You know it. You know this to be true. Search hey, your man. heart. There's a reason I'm wearing camouflage because I want to hide. Christian, where'd you go? No. All that camouflage. I can't see you. Yeah. You were right. I, I didn't just put blackface on. I put green on it, and now you can't see me. Yeah. Before it was blackface. Christian likes to, <laughs> Christian likes to come record the episodes sporting blackface. But, <laughs> oh, God. It's genetic. This man. is, yeah. He can't really help it, unfortunately. None of this better make the episode. <laughs> Oh, it's going to ask, dude, man. There's no way it's not. People, if you can't have a good time, like you're technically an African American, right? No, stop I've never, lying. I've stop. never been to Africa. You stop. Okay, you're an American American with black face. It's fine. It's not. It's like caramel. It's a tan. Okay, with caramel face. Does that sound you're way cooler to you? You're Is just that... judging me. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm my. I'm a, my own individual. I can be whatever I want to. That's right. Yeah, you could do that Rachel Dolezal thing and just claim something else, too. You're uh, Puerto Rican. I can claim whatever I want. That's right. This is America. Great song. Don't catch me slipping. No, it's fine. I'm not going to go into that. Shout out, shout out, scam now. So you just think it's a random setup in the woods, right? To bring it back to the fucking story, you just think it's a random setup in the woods. Maybe. Right? Just a weird, ah, this guy likes to collect weird huts, and he likes to collect human skulls. And that's fine. 
just like the people in the other story like to hang dogs and skin them from on trees and creep people out with blood and, and candle wax everywhere and you're like and that's fine and this is what we do maybe these were sacrifices that, to the forest gods of are we pan, talking pan again before pan even mm. pan's kind of i don't know what pan would have been in in that part of the world at that time but pot i don't i don't Maybe it was mushrooms. Why do you just assume they were smoking pot? I didn't say they were smoking pot. I said before pan, there was pot. Someone is getting this, Christian, and it's going right over your head. It is. Pot and pan. Oh, I get it. <laughs> okay. I was like... Yeah. Uh, ta-da. Yeah. I've never do I have heard, to spell it out for you? I've pan. never heard of a, one of the gods named Pot. <laughs> I am the god Pot. And every, stoners everywhere like, yeah, dude, totally, man. Yeah. Love you, Pot. I love you. You have my undying devotion, Pot. Man, you're doing all kinds of accents. I know. Today. I really do have a Rolodex of. Was that like a stoner Keanu Reeves? Yeah, it was. It was a nice <laughs> blend between the two. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. Uh, what do you say we close out this episode with a Bigfoot story? I like Bigfoot. I like Bigfoot, and I cannot lie. It's I'm not going to go into that. Like the the, <laughs> the Gim Gimlet Patterson video. The Gimlet. Get a hold of yourself, Christian. Was such a lie. I don't know. Wow. No, I can't go with that. Wow. I... Bob Gimlin is somewhere out there is listening to this episode, and he's like, wow, Christian, thanks for that. I turned down a million dollars, a million dollars to tell the truth about that story. And we're still talking about it all these years later. Because it happened, Christian. You know how many people have analyzed that footage? Do you know how many like actual people that are very well trained in analyzing video have looked at that footage and been like, that's not someone in a suit? You know, just talking about that video, I have analyzed it, and Sasquatch does have a big butt in that video, and we cannot deny that. Look at it again. I know, and it's not just the butt that's big, Christian. The whole package. He's got junk in his trunk. That was a woman. You're. I can't believe you're... All uh, the... It's milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. I mean, all that right. stuff. Yeah, I know. I know, Christian. And it's fake. <sighs> Someone come get Christian. I really do struggle with that one. I know you do, but you need to, you need to, I will send you some footage, some footage, some videos explaining from people that are anal like video analyzers and that do this shit for a living. That, how about the that people this. that analyze how people and animals walk that studied that video? They're trying to, prove that oh god that this is an actual true video because yeah. it walks like a bigfoot hmm. of course you know they went into the whole gate and all that just yeah. move on with your story trust me there's yeah. some science behind that it's actually bigfoot that's what these people say i know yeah i know i've seen the it's very in-depth videos yeah and very true and we all agree christian you included that it was a costume <clears throat> that it was real this one comes to us from jay the nuts very inventive. 77. Says, I saw Bigfoot in the sixth grade. I snuck out one night because I was a little shit back then. <laughs> Classic stuff. Decided to go freak the girls out by jumping on the low roof. Oh, I should say this is sixth grade camp, not just sixth grade. Oh, okay. Yeah, so decided to go freak the girls out by jumping on the low roof. I wasn't thinking about spying then, just to torment. But I saw a teacher doing a patrol, so I decided to revert course and head to the far side of the lake in the woods. Now, this was May in Michigan, so the leaves just started coming out. I climbed a hill, and just as I made it over the top, I seen a shadow move to my right, farther deep into the woods. It was also pitch black, and I could hear a storm coming in the distance over anything else, so I didn't hear it. I thought it might have been a fellow camper, so I called out to whatever it was. I have grown up in the woods, so I had little fear of anything. No response. I thought that it might have been a tree moving. Yeah, because they walk all the time. According to that video recorded that I'm not sure is out yet, but yeah. maybe. Then I saw it move away quicker than before. You know that saying, curiosity kills the cat? Well, that was no different for the en enragement child I was. I decided to give chase to this mysterious thing. I followed this mass up and over another hill, and I suddenly was met by a huge gust front from this storm. Then came the gushing of rain. I was distracted by this for a second, but when I regained focus, the shadow was gone. I had to find it again, so I went wandering in the rain. I stumbled around for who knows how. 